NVIDIA, the creator of everything great in tech's latest invention, is finally here. AI frame generation. A lot of you fake nerds seem to be eating it up, but guess what? I'm here to rain on your parade. And don't get me started on flashy jacket, man. Just like his GPUs, it's all flash on the outside and old bones on the inside. But we'll get to him later. So let's talk about NVIDIA's latest showing. It was all about the big buzzwords, DLSS, frame generation, AI this, AI that, the promise, FPS galore. A magical experience like we've never seen before, or at least since every dev decided to start using Unreal Engine 5. And you know what? I'm a frames per a second fiend. So naturally, this had me geeked. But when Nvidia started throwing out claims like the RTX 5070, 4090 performance at 549. When I hear something like that, my immediate reaction is to tweet something like this from our good old buddy Nick Pro Reborn. Nvidia wins. Holy shit. Luckily, you whales don't have much to worry about. But here's the real question. Are all these DLSS and AI innovations actually improving the gamer's experience? Or are they just an expensive band-aid and an ever-growing thorn in the gamer's foot? Let's rip that band-aid off and expose the wound. Roll back the clock to the 1000 series, the GOAT of price-to-performance GPUs. The GOAT! No RTX, no DLSS, just pure raw power that crushed games out of the box. NVIDIA didn't need gimmicks. Then came ray tracing. Cool tech, amazing lighting, at the cost of performance. Even the top of the line cards at the time could barely handle ray tracing. And that's where the cracks started to show. Games got prettier, sure, but let's be real. Graphics haven't come that far in the last decade. Don't believe me? Go look at Batman Arkham Knight in 4K Ultra. Still holds up, doesn't it? But as games became harder and harder to raster, Nvidia pulled out its next magic trick, DLSS. Render a game at 720p, upscale it, and voila, higher frames. Sounds great, but any graphics snob will tell you the fidelity just isn't the same. And now, AI frame generation. I got frames that'll make your balls explode. First things first. No, the RTX 5070 is not more powerful than the RTX 4090 you spent $2,000 on. The magic that makes this claim possible is AI frame generation, which takes one frame and generates three more. Most people hear that and think, Cool, more frames. But you should care about how those frames are being generated. AI isn't really magic, it's predictive. That means you, gamer, are not in control of those frames. History shows that these gimmicks lead to higher latency and even ghosting. Imagine playing a competitive game like CSGO or Call of Duty. A millisecond of delay can mean the difference between a clutch win or a rage-inducing loss. Now imagine that delays baked into AI-generated frames, predicting what will happen next. Feels bad, right? While Nvidia does plan to fix this with, you guessed it, more AI, it's still yet to be proven effective. The thing is that none of this is inherently problematic. At the end of the day, it's all optional settings that you can enable or disable. Turn off! Turn it off now! So here's the real problem. More and more developers are now leaning on this tech to make their games playable. Take Cyberpunk, for example. In pure raster mode, which essentially means rendering the graphics without any AI upscaling or assistance, on the top of the line Giga Enthusiast brand new 5090 card, 30 frames per a second. Turn on the AI gimmicks, boom, 200 frames per a second. Impressive, until you realize that this tech is the only thing making the game playable. At the end of the day, why fix performance when you can just slap DLSS on it and make everything better? And the more this tech 
evolves, the more future games will require said upgrades. Also meaning, the faster your expensive new GPU becomes an expensive paperweight. At this rate, you're almost better off buying a console. And that physically pains me to admit that. What the hell? Oh my god, no way! But that's how an absolutist would think, and we don't need to be absolutists. <laughs> okay, buddy. We don't need to toss out the good ideas with the bad ones. NVIDIA's innovations are just that, innovations. When used right, they can be tools for progress instead of a band-aid for a broken system. If you can't optimize your game, there's plenty of proven art styles and engines that work and most importantly, don't require some level of magic AI wizardry to enjoy. Let us play raw again. And as for Jacket Man, he's more than old bones in a shiny coat. From what I've heard, he's actually a pretty cool guy that comes from humble beginnings, just like you or me. He may be also running the most successful tech company of the 21st century, but I digress. What do you think? Are you hyped for Nvidia's latest tech? Or are you holding out for a piece of hardware that doesn't rely on gimmicks? Let me know in the comments. As for me, one day I'm gonna need to upgrade, and I'll be ready. But until then, let's all do better. Later.